my glimpse of hope, my change in my path was when I got pregnant with my son. Um, it's because that's not where I wanted him to be. Having to deal with homelessness probably 75% of my life has just been a great weight, you know, and fear. The fear just sucked really bad. I, I suffer from like PTSD and anxiety, mostly anxiety. Um, come from an abuse upbringing and homelessness, but I have overcome it. I have found a way to get rid of all that and just leave it there while I work on being where I'm at now. I want to say after I found I was pregnant, within a year, we started getting those phone calls. One of them happened to be Compass that I applied for, and then one of their caseworkers got a hold of me. A spot is open into their transitional, which I went into. It was about three months I was there before I got the call here, so then they had a unit open. It was awesome. It was just like a big weight off my shoulders, because here I am with a top, uh, an infant, not even walking yet, and having to worry about or is our stuff going to get stolen or where are we going to sleep kind of thing and are we safe was one of our my biggest things. If I didn't get this place, I'd probably still be couch hopping. As we know, there's there's a lot of reasons why people are, are in the situation they're in. Um, a couple of those barriers might be a lack of housing, addiction issues, generational, you know, just generational poverty and generational homelessness, um, and sometimes just bad luck, right? Somebody's just became unemployed and they, they haven't been able to, to find a job. Kind of our mission and our goal is to really walk alongside our guests, and we do that through comprehensive case management services. We provide um, a day center, hygiene center, we provide emergency shelters, and we provide affordable housing across King County. One of the things we know about people who are in systems is being bounced around and they have to go outside the system to get back in the system. And this allows them just to create this seamless walk through their journey and, and really feel supported on both ends. For our organization, we really look at stability, growth, and community as these innovative pillars. So stability obviously is meeting someone where they're at, but providing a level of stability, again, so that we can see what level of stability can we contribute to them in that moment. And then the growth part is how do we help them grow into the next stage, right? So, and then how do you reintegrate somebody into community? I think stability growth community also means, as an organization, how do we become stable? How are we stable in what our mission is? How are we stable financially so we can continue to do the work that's highly needed? So in all aspects, whether it's client-driven or as an organization, we want to strive at being stable, providing growth, building community, and being innovative in how we do it. I work in the cheese kiosk, so I'm the cheese master, the, I'm a department lead. And then I'm also, I work in the deli as well because I'm cross-trained in the deli and in Starbucks. <laughs> I've been here going on five years. So like that whole security and the stability is just an awesome feeling and a huge weight off their shoulders. And Compass has been really helpful with that. It's, there was so many needs that I, that I had when I first moved in here because I didn't have a job. During the shelter and the transitional, I couldn't go to work because I didn't know how long I could like be in that one area for till I got housing. They've been great with like the diapers, the food, just helping me get what we needed until I got an income. It's been awesome. I love these guys. <laughs> I really love them. I don't know how I got so lucky to be here to have the support team, to have the open communication, to have just all this as a whole in my life right now. It's just, it's been a blessing. Coming from nothing to where I'm at now, keeping a job for five years, having stable permanent housing for five years, I mean, who would want to go back? I was a lot younger when I first experienced homelessness. And him having security and stability and just the community in general, my, my hope is that, you know, he ex just goes forward and not have to experience anything that I had to deal with. I don't, I don't know how, what I'd do without these guys, honestly, because I'd be kind of lost and back in that 
that fear again. It's just not going to be what I want. <laughs>